Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. This is stage 200 of Operation Get the Shop Organised. This time I'm going to try and sort out my drills. My drill and driver are two of my most commonly used tools. They spend most of the time on the bench, but it'd be nice for them to have a home. Then there's tools similar shapes to them, like brad nailers. And of course, all the bits that go with them. All the drill bits, the driver bits, the nails, not to mention the chargers and the batteries. So I'm going to try and make a wall unit to incorporate all these things. And it also needs room for expansion, because I've got a bit of a tool problem and keep buying more. And I can't be building new units every time I buy something new. I didn't want to go and spend any money on this project, so my plan for how to build it was very dependent on the bits I could scrounge from around the shop. I had a pile of small bits of plywood and these plastic storage bins. I thought all the accessories for the tools could go in the bins and then I put a shelf on top for the batteries and the chargers to go on. I placed a scrap of wood between the bins and the shelf just to leave a little bit of space to make it easy to pull them out. I wanted there to be a backer on the bin shelf so in case anything fell out it didn't fall down. I found a bit of thinner ply for this and glued and nailed it on. I purposely didn't put a backer on the top shelf so any cables for the chargers could go down. The great thing about this saw is it can cut plastic without having to change the blade. I'm a bit of a hoarder and been hanging on to this bit of pipe with no use for it so I'm finally glad to have something to do with it. I cut it down to the same width as the unit and then about an inch in from one end I drilled a hole through. I picked a hole saw that was about the same width as the handle of the drill. I then used a fine toothed blade in the jigsaw to cut the waste out, creating a slot for the handle of the drill to slide into. This left quite a rough edge on the plastic, but it was easy enough to clean up with a bit of sandpaper. I put a couple of pilot holes on the underside, ready to attach the bottom of the unit. Then they could just be screwed in place to the underside. As I was doing it, I tried the tools in the holes, so I could get the spacing right and the battery packs wouldn't bump into each other. The wall I'm mounting on is very uneven, so no fancy French cleat systems for me. Just a couple of mounting plates and a couple of screws. I want everything I make for the shop to be expandable. As you can see, I've got plenty of room for more tools to go on the bottom. And also, easy to take down so I can move with them. This simple thing has already made it so much neater. And now everything has a place to go and I might actually be able to find things when I need them for once. That's it all done. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe for more videos.